Hello again. Or hello for the first time. What you're looking at right now is the Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden. I am showing you some very quick glimpses of this garden. Since today I am going to be showing you stuff from the Sekaido Art Store, I thought I should also show you the garden. So, Sakaido is this art store that has like six floors full of stationery and art supplies. I couldn't record a lot because it's kind of crowded in there, but this is what I could make of it. I'm excited to show you everything I got there. I'm gonna try out the materials right in front of you to show you what they do. So I'm starting with my watercolor palette. This is the Sakura Petite Color and I actually used this one during the trip. I did some raw sketches and other images, mostly from the botanical garden, which by the way I have another video for that if you're interested. palette. It's dirty because I've used it already. Next up we have this this pencil bag. It has a really nice zipper. It's very sturdy and it's of a very nice quality. And right here you can see this is a very lengthy instrument to put in there and you still have more space. Next up, I have another pencil bag. This one I got it because it looked like it was longer and more appropriate for my brushes. So I'm actually planning on having the smaller brushes on the small zipper bag. Now the inside of the bag it has this velcro in it. So I'm guessing you can actually make a smaller section for other things like maybe fitting an eraser or a sharpener. This next item is a stapleless stapler. I had been wanting this one for a long time now. And the reason is because I need to stop wasting staples. Mostly what you do is you clip it and it makes this fold within the paper. Sometimes it cuts it, but other staplers do different forms. Some just kind of make an indentation in order to keep the paper together. This next item is actually a mystery item. I was hoping to make circles with it, but um, I realized it doesn't have a pencil lead tip, so if you have idea ideas about how I can use this, please comment below. Uh, this next item has two different tips. It is a brush pen, dual brush pen if that's what you call it. The top tip is very small and black color. 
I'm really excited to actually use this one. Let's go ahead and make a line here. And the other side of the tip is in gray color. They're about the same size, but the gray one is actually slightly bigger than the black, I believe. Next up, one of my favorite items, we have the Pilot Friction Colors. These are markers and they are erasable. Usually I make a lot of mess, so hopefully these will help me out. I'm gonna go ahead and try all of them here for you. This is kind of like a watermelon tone. And I think I should have waited a little bit for it to dry well and try to erase that. Now it looks all smudgy. And this one, I guess you could call it a raspberry tone or more purpley than the other one. The line I erased actually comes out very crisp. It looks much better than the last time because I waited with this one. I waited to actually erase. This next one is a little bit more on the dark fur blue. And this one is more like a sky blue color. So, um, a bit of a technical difficulty with my camera, now I decided to record everything again. These are the last two colors that I was missing, the orange and the turquoise. I believe the turquoise is my favorite color so far. And I'm going to erase all of these at once. So far they're coming up really good. See, look at that, you can barely even see that there was a line there before. Next item, we have more erasable markers, but these are actually highlighters. These are in a pastel tone. They are also by Pilot. And I'm expecting these to be really pastel, but uh, you never know. They come in a very nice presentation so far. I'm gonna go ahead and try them out. This is a very pretty color. Okay, so it erased pretty well. Next color is the yellow. I'm kind of hoping that it's not too strong. Uh, yeah. 
it actually is strong. It looks more like the traditional highlight color. I'm not liking it a lot so far, but it's still a good color. Hopefully it erases nicely. It's alright, I guess, but it could have been better. To my liking, of course. Next up, we have a pink colored highlighter. Looks like it works. Pretty good. Next, we have a small sketchbook. This is a nice addition to my collection because I don't usually keep small sketchbooks in hand. I should more than I do. The paper is very nice quality. It's kind of like a watercolor paper. It looks like it can hold a lot of liquid. Hopefully it does. I'll try it out in one of my videos. This next one is uh, very special. It's kind of like a traditional notebooks that they use a lot in Japan. It opens up like an accordion and basically every time you go somewhere, if they happen to have a stamp for the place, uh, you can go ahead and borrow it and keep it as a memoir. Like this one, I have the Hiroshima Castle stamp when I went there, and it's really beautiful. So I'm really hoping it. I'm really hoping to take it with me on my next trip. Next, we have a washi tape roll. This one is flowery. I thought it looked familiar. A little bit traditional. And this is just a small ruler that I thought would come in handy. I love the color mustard yellow, so that's why I picked this one. We'll put it aside for now. See what we have here. Oh, two of my favorite items. I got these books of watercolor landscapes and watercolor items, mostly to help me out uh, growing as an artist. Watercolor isn't my strongest suit, so I really want to practice it now. This book gives you really good tips about how to start, how you should be layering your items. I thought it's I thought it was really nice, so I had to bring it with me. thinking of making a big journal with different landscapes and drawings from things that I saw in Japan, so stay in tune for that. I'm gonna be using these books as guides to help me complete that.
so I'm gonna put that aside. These are mystery items to me because I decided not to open until I made this video. I genuinely don't remember what I bought. Very excited. Uh, these are mostly items that I picked out and didn't come in a set. So I guess that's why they picked the little baggies. Oh, this is the very necessary in hand tool, the white pen uniball signal the ink is really nice it has a very good coverage and quality really handy next this is a Sarasa clip pen by Zebra and it's really nice because you can clip it anywhere I really was intrigued by this color it's one of those things that they only sell in Japan and are not available anywhere else I guess This is a gel pen. It looks really good. The feel of it when you're writing is very nice. Next, I have a high-tech pen and a very small tip. I will be listing all the points and actual names down below if you're interested in that. Now next, uh, another uniball pen. This one is the Signo in gold. I actually haven't seen many people use this pen. I've seen them use the white one. Oh, this is very nice. It's very thick and it looks like I could do great things with it on black paper. I'm hoping that will work out. Next, I have the Pilot Color Eno in 0.7 lead. I wanted to try this with my animation sketches. I've never tried any of these before. So I'm gonna try to make a little drawing here. <laughs> this is my ugly try of Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> I used to draw this as a kid, non stopping. I memorized all of the traces. And let's see how well the eraser works. And I usually don't like wasting the eraser from the pencil. So either way, I'll use another eraser. Next, we have a My Liner brush. I am not very acquainted with these, actually. And this is the teal color. Okay, it 
it's a very nice color it's very light it's actually lighter than i expected next next baggy i wonder what i have here Okay, so these are the brushes I bought. This is the Kusakabe. I can't pronounce that well. What's very cool about this brush that I wanted for a long time is that it is transformable. So you can make it longer once you are using it. And the cap is removable and you can just make it really short for you to keep in your purse as you are traveling. like this it looks kind of like a bullet a nice bullet <laughs> next a very nice tipped brush This is uh, just a liner brush from Sakaido. If you can see the tip, it's very nice. And this is the next one. This one is also a liner brush, but this one is the Interlum brand, made in Japan. Let's look at the tip now. Mm, very pretty. Very soft. So I'm putting these aside. This next one is the acrylic wash in lilac tone. It is my favorite color, lavender. And next we have some stickers. These are some traditional goodies you get to see in Japan, like the little kitty and some dolls, the fish, and the maruma doll. And next we have very nice pens. These are also by Pilot in 0.4 tip. I got the pastel case and the shimmery metallic as well. They come in a set of six and I'm gonna go ahead and try them out here for you. This is the Juice Up 0.4 in orange. And this one is a white one. I have to say it has nice coverage like the other one, but I believe the Signo is even stronger than this one. Nice purple and turquoise colors. And a really pretty pink. Let's go ahead and try that out. Then a baby blue. That's actually pretty strong. I wasn't expecting it. It's really pretty. And we're gonna try out the metallic set now. I'm really excited to try out the mustard looking one. Or I guess maybe it is the gold. This looks like a pretty turquoise in a metallic tone. Mm, 
It's very shiny. It's shinier than I expected. I'm just gonna go ahead and try all of the colors here. This is the silver one, the gray, and look at the mustard one. Pink. It's a very nice shiny pink. And then purple. And finally the blue color. Very shiny and metallic, and it's not usually uh, the kind I want, but I will work with them. I think it's something good to try. And next we have my 24 gouache set, uh, the acrylic gouache. I usually am not able to get these where I live, so I was very excited to see them, and I thought why not since they are already right in front of me. <laughs> and these are the colors. Very strong colors. I gotta say, I have been working with them for a while now, and I am really loving them. Uh, right here, I have made um, a key with all of the colors for you to show you how they actually look on paper. And so far, I believe they are of very good coverage really strong colors and the reds are just my favorite i used one of these reds for my travel journal pad and it really gave out a really nice coverage it felt like like it was the actual paper it didn't tear or anything and i even used a black marker on top of the paint like writing over it and it was really nice so this is it guys those were all of the items i got at sakaido i hope that you enjoyed looking at these items as much as i did and make sure to press like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video we'll see you next time